<laughs> Welcome to E's look at Charlton Heston's new film, The Stolen Ruby. Oh, hello. I'm Charlton Heston, and I'm not here to discuss unconstitutional firearms laws or ED, for that matter. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about my new movie. Over the years, people have said, there's just too much actor in Charlton to keep him in one role. They're right. So finally, I've written and produced a, a movie that gives me the room I need to move around in. I call it The Stolen Ruby. And I play over 72 parts in the film, <laughs> giving that punk Eddie Murphy a little run for his money, that punk. <laughs> Why don't you people take a look? It just doesn't make sense, Lieutenant. That museum was locked. The only one inside was the janitor. That janitor. There was something about him I just didn't trust. Send in the janitor. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at me now. I'm a janitor. I have a broom. Tell me, Mr. Janitor, where were you the night the ruby was stolen? I was with my fat Argentinian girlfriend. A likely alibi. I should like to meet this fat Argentinian girlfriend of yours. If it's not too much of a stretch. <laughs> Hello. I am from Argentina. Mm. As I'm sure you can tell from my rich Argentinian accent. <laughs> Try that, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Chief, they found the fingerprints at the museum. Thanks, Sergeant Yakamoto. <laughs> Chief, the handwriting samples are a match. Thank you, Sergeant Space Alien. <laughs> Chief, we traced the phone call back to New Jersey. Thanks, Sergeant Little Girl. Chief, they found the van in a chop shop. Thank you, Sergeant Snake. Ah, ah, ah. Wouldn't want to give too much of the movie away. So, did you spot me in any of my disguises? Better than Eddie Murphy, right? Anywho, I'm going home now. Goodbye. Cheers! <laughs>